Okay. So for the next uh, uterus issue, which we'll get to look at, um, we are looking at what is known as what? Sorry. Uterine inversion. Okay. Ut uterine inversion. Okay. So f you know the uterus now is supposed to be up, but it is now coming down. That's inversion. It's changing positions. It's changing directions. That's the best thing to use. Okay. So it's a rare but it's a very life threatening complication of childbirth. This is when the uterus turns partially or completely inside out, you know, often during or shortly after delivery. So the woman has given birth probably is due to all those stress, you know, on the uterus and all. The uterus now changes direction, okay? So it's considered an obstetric emergency due to the risk of massive bleeding and shock that can come with this. So what happens during the inversion? We say that the fundus, that's the top part of the uterus. The top part of the uterus is turning down. It's supposed to be high up here. Do you understand? You know, so in severe cases, the uterus may protrude through the cervix or even outside the vagina. It's disrupt normal uterine contraction and blood vessel closure, leading to severe bleeding. So such a woman is bleeding so much. So causes are risk factors is this excessive traction on umbilical cord before placenta dis detachment, fundal pressure during delivery, uterine atony. All right, so the muscles of the uterus are becoming so weak. All right, placenta accreta, right, short umbilical cord, rapid or prolonged labor, use of uterine relaxants like magnesium sulfate, or this is your first time giving birth. Or your baby is so big that's a macrosomic baby okay so symptoms is what heavy uh, sudden or heavy postpartum bleeding severe abdominal bleeding okay severe abdominal pain so there's so much pain in the stomach region all right and smooth around mass protruding from the vagina low blood pressures you know dizziness signs of shock uterus not palpable in its normal position if they try to do an abdominal examination for the woman so are the various ways you actually handle this so you can just uh, do a manual repositioning of the uterus like you hold it you take it inside then you push with the fist okay then what again all right so you give intravenous fluid and blood transfusion now this is because the woman has lost so much fluid all right uterine relaxant okay Surgical intervention, oxytocin repositioning, post position repositioning to promote uterine contraction. The antibiotics because you know you have part of the body where they are not supposed to be, so some bacteria can now take an advantage to basically what infect. So that's it for uterine inversion.